Peter Andre is many, many things, but an influence on British youth? Yeah, that's what his hit Mysterious Girl is in the new film The Inbetweeners 2. It's the inspiration for their shag and wagon. She looks well freaked out. Do you think that might have anything to do with the car? Doubt it. This is the classic Aussie shag and wagon. The mobile virgin conversion unit. <laughs> <laughs> the first film, released three years ago, became Britain's highest grossing comedy of all time. And by grossing, we mean a lot of money. Although, you could be forgiven for thinking we meant this. I still don't know how the dog died. I can only presume it threw itself in the well rather than stay here. This time, the four friends, Jay, Neil, Will and Simon, travel around Australia for their gap year. Well, be careful. Muff before mace is actually a crime in Australia. In what they're promised is the sex capital of the world. Australia is the sex capital of the world. You know why they call it Down Under? Sorry to break it to you guys, but if Australia really was that, I would definitely have heard about it when I was in high school, I think. Ladies and welcome Simon Bird and Joe Thomas! Yeah. Uh, first things first, guys. Are you... Are you having, uh, and I'm referencing the film here, of course, but are you having fun in the sex capital of the world? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's OK. Um, but, um, I think we, we'd, we would maybe rather be in Canberra, which is, of course, the capital of the sex yeah, capital. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> From what's happening in Canberra. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 that. A sexy, sexy, that's a real yeah. sexy capital. Did you, did, you, did you hear that silence? <laughs> that's what's happening. Yeah. Well, you've got like, girlfriends married, well, not multiple girlfriends, but one girlfriend, one, <laughs> one married. Oh, we don't know. Oh, yeah. How do they feel about you mixing it up in the sex capital of the world? Um, I think they're okay with it. They're happy that we've got a job. Um, <laughs> also, I've never asked. <laughs> That helps. So, no. <laughs> no. Are either, are either of your partners crazy, like your partner in the film, who cuts up your clothes and damages all your bits and pieces of product? My girlfriend's not allowed knives or scissors. Right. <laughs> okay. Just in case she, uh, you know, takes the law into her own hands. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, she's very nice. Is the answer to that? <laughs> and also, That's Simon's so wife is really nice. Thanks. Oh, what are you implying? Nice. Well, no, she's not really <laughs> how nice. <laughs> oh, do you. Oh, no, what? Oh, we'll, <laughs> just, we'll talk about that later. This, this movie is number one in the UK as we speak. You have beaten out the Guardians of the Galaxy and returned to the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, what have yeah. you got that the Galaxy and the Apes don't have? They were made up and that was about <laughs> <laughs> real, yeah. Yours is what, stuff. a documentary You're, film? Yes, yeah, <laughs> well, wait, you can see from that clip there. This is fi fi uh, entirely non-fictional. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that's actual footage. Just, yeah, yeah, wrestling a koala bear there. And uh, that's um, all the, oh, the virgin oh, conversion oh, unit. Yeah. 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 Actually, can I thank you for the Peter? I'd forgotten he existed. Oh, yeah. no, you completely. You should it. never forget. You can still find him. But I have to say, now, Joe, I, well, as I was watching this film, I couldn't help but think that okay, every all four of you are nerds and mm. losers. Well, uh, but you. <laughs> And I say, yes, come on, they're sitting right here, Wally. It's true. It's okay. no, no, look, I say, Sorry Simon reminded me a hell of a lot of me, so believe me. So, <laughs> but, but Joe, I just thought your character is actually just one step cooler. Thank you very much. Uh, you're a man of exemplary taste. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I've always liked you. The question arises is why the hell are you hanging out with them? Mm. Lack of other options. <laughs> uh, yeah, slim pickings, I think, is the, is the answer to that. I mean, well, it's, I don't know. I feel, I feel like, like, like this conversation is going very badly for me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> enjoying this, this line of uh, questioning. Let, let me tell you, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> 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 and the other thing I was delighted to learn about both of you mm. is that you both play the violin. Yeah, you, oh, so you, you're an really? excellent researcher. Yeah. I mean, that is, I used Still to play, play or used to play? Not anymore. Used to play. Oh, used to yeah. play. You know, I had to, oh, the Joey. fast living, it was... Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey, yeah. Yeah. I fought yeah. in with a pretty fast crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Was, uh, <laughs> Joe's play um, jazz violin. I did, money. yeah, well, uh, yeah oh, for well, a certain amount of money, yeah. yeah. Right. Had you ever get it out together and just have a little... <laughs> <laughs> the violins! The violins! The violins! The violins! That really did sound like a line from a film. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine you both sitting there having a little yeah. play. Yeah. No, play, it's play never happened, but uh, uh, hopefully never will. Strumming on G-string. Are, yeah. are, the, are the ladies into a violin? Does it work from a music? Because Waleed here plays uh, lead guitar in a rock band. Oh, yeah. And He's we know how that works. Well, the ladies must love that. Yeah. Yeah, does the violin uh, attract not, the... Not hitherto. No. no. <laughs> does being in the in-betweeners, does that, you know, does, are the ladies excited by that? Because we feel like we're so familiar with your characters. I think you are your characters. Yeah. And I'm a lady fast approaching middle age. And I sort of, yeah. No, it's, it's fine. We can, I mean, you know, I'm up for it. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, because I 
I feel as though you're desperate teenagers, and what I'm saying, what I'm asking you is, do people approach you as your characters much Look, in the world? Let's just get to the next break, and then you and I... <laughs> I don't approach okay, we'll clear away. the table. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, The Inbetweeners 2 is in cinemas August mm. 21st. It's been so great to have you here, guys. Please thank, thank Simon guys. and Joe. Yeah. <laughs>